So what we're doing, I'm gonna throw the blanket on them, and before they can take the blanket off, they have to listen to a short story told by Lyndall. Did you take my water? Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Eloise, what are you doing, honey? <laughs> Lindell, does it appear smoky in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, don't be alarmed if the smoke alarm goes off. I don't know if you can tell that it's a little bit smoky in here. I the smoke alarm, it never has, and it has been utterly canceled. Can you see anything? No, you're good. Yeah, it's probably time to change the batteries. Um, let's see. Well, it works. So it's good to know that it works. It probably just doesn't get very smoky in that section of the house right there. Wee oui, wee, oui, what did you just bring me, honey? The, the shaver. Well, you used all the stickers, honey. But that, that. Mommy gave me Eloise, but they're all gone already. Well, Bear's using them. Should we do the puzzle? But I want some more. So these guys are solidly in the puzzle stage. Got this one on Amazon. We'll link it below. Melissa and Doug, they really, they really know what they're doing when they do the puzzles. Guys, should we do the puzzle? As soon as Bear gets done with the stickers, let's do the puzzle so we can show the vlog what it's going to look like. Eloise brought me down my shaver. Hey, Wee Wee, why'd you bring me down my shaver? <laughs> and we have no idea, but this poor little girl hit her head on something. I bet that really hurt. Poor little thing. Check this out. Are there twins in there? Bump update. Exactly how far along are you? <laughs> I, I, I did have a baby when I had, I had a pretend baby when Ellie was here. Where did it go? I don't know. No. Oh, okay. I am 12 weeks and 4 days today. I have an appointment on Wednesday. Today's Monday. It totally snuck up on me. I, I, I don't know that I wrapped my head around the fact that this week is Thanksgiving. No, it's... It doesn't feel like it. While I was at work today, I realized that today, Monday, is my Friday. Yeah, you're because right. Because I normally work Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Obviously won't be working Thursday and Friday this week. So that realization also brought the realization that my OB appointment, which is scheduled for the day before Thanksgiving, would be this week also, <laughs> since there is Thanksgiving this week. Mm -hmm. And I got a reminder call Thank goodness, because when I when I schedule my appointment, I schedule for whatever time I want the appointment to be. We oui, we oui. <clears throat> be careful. They sometimes mention and sometimes don't mention that there's an ultrasound prior to that appointment, which is an entire hour before that appointment slot. So I have to be there at two thirty instead of three thirty, like I thought. Which I had scheduled it at three thirty, with the idea that my mom could. I don't know why I thought it would be important for them to be up from their naps. I got a anyway. Good thing it's not. I know you're on the edge of your seat. What are we going to do for child care? What was the drama on Instagram about when the second uh, trimester actually starts? <clears throat> it was like, I said that I was, okay, if, if you say when is the first trimester over, I think most people would say 12 weeks. Right. Or like, when is it okay to announce a pregnancy? When does the tri second trimester start? 12 weeks. If you go by an app, it's like the end of the 13th week. Oh. Technically. Oh. Because the pregnancy is 40 weeks. So yeah. you divide that by three. Right. 13.3 weeks. Okay. But you're only going to 37 weeks. But I'm only going to 37 weeks. So I said, I'm celebrating this being the end of 
this the first trimester of my pregnancy and even though I explained that everyone's like wait you're not in your second trimester like I did this dance and I was really excited and I'm feeling better which is huge and I'm like all about celebrating any and every milestone that we have because I'm not a good pregnancy or pregnancy -er. no, no so anyway it was just like if if this was my balloon it was like <laughs> <laughs> is she silly like, is mommy silly wrong you're still in your first trimester i mean it's good for engagement from your followers i know i'm <laughs> watch this mommy <laughs> Yes. It's just what you do. It, and so the other day she blew her raspberry on my cheek, where basically she just like blew her nose on my cheek. Uh, <laughs> mom life. I know. <laughs> Your hands are. No, I feel I feel bad for my patients. Wow, man, that's amazing. I'm sure they've never had an eye doctor that has hands that look like he does a <laughs> side job of renoing a school bus <laughs> we are definitely not the parents that are ordering on walmart the night before a thanksgiving party the gravy and what up, cranberry cranberry jellied cranberry sauce yeah we're not. i already had it in my cart oh you did yeah oh okay what's in our cart and then I actually, so I'm making the rolls for Thanksgiving. Eloise, you need to take that over to the table, please, with two hands. Roll that here, why don't you leave that ball, okay. Leave that here. Go take your milk to the table and set it down. And then come back and get the balls. Two hands, Eloise. Two hands. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> we watch her. Look, watch her. She's. Great job, Eloise. Those are eggs. So these are farm, farm fresh eggs. These are not farm fresh eggs, even though they say farm fresh. These are. I. I honestly don't know how they get white. Swaddled, baby. How do eggs get white? Like, why are eggs? Do they bleach out? I don't know. I don't know. Aww. Okay. What was? What was the third conversation of the seven that we have going on? I just for tomorrow morning at seven a.m. I have them both in there. But I also have the rolls ingredients in there, which I already got. I picked up at the store today. Okay, we're good. Okay, so for Thanksgiving, I'm in charge of the rolls. And I found this recipe five or six years ago for the other milk, please. Lambert's Throwed Rolls. If you know, you know. There's a restaurant, I think it used to be just Missouri, but I saw somewhere that it's in Alabama too. I think on the recipe that I found. But they have the best rolls. And at the restaurant, they come out with a huge cart of them and they throw them to the tables and you catch them. So they come out and they go, hot rolls, and then you put your hands up if you want one and hopefully get one of that batch because they're always fresh out of the oven. They're huge. Like, this restaurant is just known for huge portions, home-cooked country chicken fried steak, fried okra, rolls. It's really good. So anyway, I'm making the rolls for our Thanksgiving and I had to stop by the grocery store so I decided to go ahead and get all the ingredients so that I can do a practice run tomorrow, I guess, not tonight, because you have to let them rise twice. You let the dough rise and then you form them into their rolls and then you let the rolls rise. My mouth is watering, just talking about it. But yeah, for Baron Lindell's Thanksgiving, sadly, parents cannot come to this one because of COVID. So. I will just drop them off with their con <coughs> contributions to their Thanksgiving dinner. Bear, do you remember what you're bringing to Thanksgiving tomorrow? Guess what? Do you remember what I what I signed you up for? You're gonna wear that shirt. He wore his Thanksgiving no. shirt today. Cranberry. What? Cran. Cranberry sauce. You said, did you eat? Say surprise. I'm sure Miss Peggy's gonna have dessert. I know there's gonna be a pie. Mommy, I say it. I'm sorry. What's mine gonna be? 
Yours is gonna be gravy. Gravy. Yes. Gravy. And what are you bringing, Bear? Is this all the snacks we're gonna take? No, this is just stuff that we needed. Anyway, Daddy wanted some spice cake cookies. You, should we make them? You wanna help me make them? Yeah, I'll make them. But I know, I know you guys are gonna have a. <laughs> I know you guys are gonna have a pie tomorrow. Um, it is. Who is it that's bringing the pie? Yeah. Me. Um, Margo. Margo's bringing the pie. You're and bringing. What's Cora gonna bring? I don't remember. Rolls maybe. <laughs> All right, Vera, let's make some cookies. When I got my hair done, the girl that was doing my hair has, I don't know how we got on the topic of it, but she has a friend who has chickens and they produce so many eggs and I guess the chickens are part of her daughter's FFA thing or something. That's probably enough. Do you want to dump it in here now, Bear? And so they just have tons of eggs and I think it's like $3 for 18 of them, farm fresh eggs. It's a really good deal. So, I don't know. We go through legit a pallet. Is that is that what we, yeah. the, it's like the double layer, full box. At least no, of eggs, maybe every week and a half or so. I can't do it. Yeah, we need to make the hole bigger, I think. Cause look, it's just kind of closing in on itself. Let me see if we can make this hole bigger. I usually like to take scissors and cut it because then it won't collapse on itself. But Eloise was standing in front of the scissors, so we'll just do this. Now, try that. So anyway, I'm really excited. Whoa, 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 she gave me her information, and I texted her today to see if, like, we can get on her. Whoops. If we can get on her rotation to get some farm fresh eggs, because whoa. there is a huge difference between. This is a lot of. It's a lot of so messy. So that is a lot of bait. Eloise, can you throw this in the trash for us, please? Thank you so much. Now, Bear, we need to get, let's not touch it with our fingers because people are going to eat that. We need to get in here because we need a spoon. Like this one. You would like a spoon too, please? I have one. Spoon, please. I'm going to scoop it in. Nope, that's not what we're doing. We are going to scoop this pumpkin mix into... I can't see. I can't see. And then we're gonna mix it all up. I want to use some. Oh, there's still seven and a half minutes. Can you hold that against that outlet? I feel like this is a trick. Whoa, what is that? Is this like? Whoa, what is that? It's well, it's a testage, a testage. It's a tester for the outlet. Do you know how wrong it feels to shove something into an outlet? Yeah. I know. Probably shouldn't watch. Shouldn't let the kids. No, because he saw you doing this that one time. I know. Whoa! This is a big milk. Hurry! Whatever you do, don't watch me. <laughs> this is a big milk. It is a big milk. Just here. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me. I'm gonna go test the breakers. They're not properly labeled. Does so, this mean they're not? Does this mean these are? That not means working? they're hot. No. That means they're hot. So that why means isn't they, it working? Exactly. They should be working. So I need to figure it out. I want to use this guy, but I mean I've already hand mixed it now. So let's just scratch the whole project. This is it out. It's going to be about a baby. So a baby. Oh, good idea. So what we're doing, I'm going to throw the blanket on them. And before they can take the blanket off, they have to listen to a short story told by Lindell. Did you take my water? Ready? Yeah. Here we go. get to tell the story, okay? But she, she's not good at telling the story. We'll find out. Here we go. And always it's her. And a and the white and baby in the wagon.
One more check. Bear stare. That was a great story, that was a great job. Dad, I won. Bear stare. Ready? Gotta listen to what Bear has to say. Once upon a time, there's a little baby named Jocko. 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 And then he saw a big Jaffa that was nice, and then he just ate him. <laughs> and then he ate popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end of it. Good job. <laughs>